If you own real estate other than your home in your personal name, then that could be a problem. So lots of people go out and they just buy this rental home. They buy this lot. They buy it in their own name, not in an LLC, not with a irrevocable credit or protected trust. And they're like, it's good. It's easy. I own it. I got the mortgage. Well, it's good until you get sued. How could you possibly get sued for a rental home? Well, let's talk about a couple of ways. Someone's walking their dog along your property and they stumble and fall and they sue you and let's say they win. They can get that that house and even more of your assets beyond that house. So if you had three rental homes, for example, and they're all in your name and that dog walker gets hurt and they get a $3 million judgment and your real estate is all worth $3 million, for example, they can take it all from you. Another example, your tenant is living there and there's mold in the walls. Now, you didn't know there was mold in the walls, but there was a drip, drip, drip in the, the wall. You never knew about it. Turned out to be mold. Your tenant got hurt, cancer, whatever, sues you, takes those three properties from you. Another example, tenants there, they're having a couple of friends over for Christmas or for whatever, and they're on your porch, they're on a balcony. They're not doing anything excessive. They're not boom booming, you know, with the, the radio and a ra big rage party, or maybe they are. But let's just say it's four people on the balcony or six people or whatever. I'm not talking about 50 people on it, but something reasonable, and the balcony collapses. Why? I don't know. There was a termite, there was something, something loose, fell. You get sued, same scenario, you have a $3 million judgment, they wipe out all your houses, all your net worth is just gone, right? Why? Because you had it in your personal name. It's a big no-no for a lot of things, especially real estate. So what are some options? You could have an irrevocable trust, you could have an LLC, you could have a different LLC for each property, you could have a series LLC with a little child series LLC underneath each that owns each property, which insulates, incubates, and compartmentalizes the liability of each one and protects it from the liability of another. We'd love to have this conversation with you. Mike Massey Law, we have helped th over a thousand people with estate planning and asset protection. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Just go to our website, click to have a free consultation. We'd love to have a conversation. Mike Massey Law, mytxwills.com, mytxwills.com. I hope this was helpful for you.